Good evening. Good evening. What? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 1999 commencement ceremony of St. Genevieve High School. This commencement ceremony is an important occasion, not only for the graduates, but for the families and friends of the graduates. It represents a culmination of 13 years of hard work and effort to achieve this point in their life. It should be a happy time and it should be a ceremony and not a celebration. We ask that your conduct at the ceremony please be dignified. Our bleachers are noisy and we ask that you please limit your movement up and down the bleachers during the ceremony and we thank you for your cooperation. I now call on the senior class president, Ms. Sarah Ralston, to lead us with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everyone please be seated. Mr. Darrell Anthony Foth, the salutatorian of the class of 1999. I would like to welcome all of the parents, teachers, administration, and other guests to this evening's ceremony. I would also like to thank the people who helped me get where I am standing tonight. All of my teachers, coaches, and other individuals, especially my mother, who has instilled in me the importance of hard work and dedication. I'm not going to stand in front of you, my classmates, and compare us to another society or read a poem that relates to the milestone which we are about to reach. Comparisons such as these offer no true reflection of what we're all about. Sure, we can interpret a poem to depict our journey or offer a scenario where a group of people or animals grow and change both intellectually and physically, but this is not a true reflection of us. We are one of a kind. Just like the many who have come before us, we are ready <coughs> to end the adventure in search of another. This journey has been filled with obstacles. And time and time again, we have managed to overcome these obstacles. We united and made it to the semifinals in football. We all watched as the wrestling team went to state and when the band went to Florida. But this is just a few of our accomplishments. No matter where we were going or what we were doing, we always managed to shine. Each one of us will carry the memories of our senior year with us. And for each person, that will be something different. Just like there are many mixed emotions amongst the class now, some of us are a little sad to go. Others are uncertain. Well, some of us will probably run for the door and never look back. But no matter how we feel, we have, have all accomplished so much by just being here tonight. We're so lucky to be given the chance to be educated, educated. Not everyone in this world is given that same opportunity. And some that are have that jeopardized. So that is why I say we are extremely lucky. Being given this chance, we have all strove to meet the requirements so we can move on to the next phase of our lives. When we look back on high school, we, were not, we will not remember how we hated the homework or how we got tired of the monotony. But we will remember the good times we had with our friend, the, we will remember the good times we had and the friends we made. We have all changed and will continue to do so. That is only human nature. One thing that will always be the same is that we are all graduates of St. Genevieve High School. As we reach one of life's first milestones, I want to leave you with something to think about. We've all accomplished a great deal over the past four years, and each of us are about to go in our separate directions. 
Do not be satisfied with what you have already accomplished, but strive to be the best that you can be in all you do. Remember, we are the master of, masters of our own demi demise, and we can control our futures. Never stop living, and try to make your dreams a reality. With that, I would like to use an old cliche, which I believe best describes our class, and that is, they save the best for last. Because we are the last class of the millennium, and not only ending our high school careers, but we are ending the 20th century. And I wish you all the best of luck in our endeavors. I now call on Mr. Charles Crowther, the band director, to give the instrumental music awards. Both the John Philip Sousa and the Louis Armstrong Award recognizes superior musicianship, dependability, loyalty, and, co and cooperation in a band student. The John Philip Sousa in concert band and the Louis Armstrong in jazz. The 1999 Sousa Award goes to Lee Kern. And the 1999 Louis Armstrong Award goes to Matt Crombie. Lee is truly a clarinet virtuoso, has been a member of the All District Band for three years, MAAA Conference Band for three years, SEMO Honors Wind Ensemble for two years, Bi-State Honors Band in 1999, and the first All-State musician to make it into the All-State Band from St. Genevieve High School in the history of the high school. Matt Crombie. He has received two outstanding jazz citations this year in trombone jazz improvisation. On tuba, he has received ones at the district and state in 1998-1999. On bass clarinet, he has received ones as a member of woodwind ensembles. He has played mallets in the percussion section, and he actually started as a clarinet player and now has aspired to becoming a composer. One of his works was played here at the concert on May 19th. It has been a pleasure to work with both of these students. They will certainly be missed by the instrumental music department, and I've been a band director for 25 years, and I can tell you that when it comes to trombone, and when it comes to tuba, and of course when it comes to clarinet, these are the two finest students I've had to work with in 25 years. present this young man the uh, Outstanding Senior Vocal Award, not because he's an outstanding sing uh, singer, but because he has outstanding qualities in the areas of charisma, and he has the type of attitude that it takes to make it in the music business, and I hope that he will follow that at some point in his life. He is a very outstanding young man. He has been in the swing choir for f the last four years, concert choir for the last four years, and I'm very proud to present this to Mr. Nick Shearhoff. shortly from the state track meet, so we're going to uh, forego that portion of the program until those students do arrive. So uh, when they uh, do come, uh, come in, uh, Coach Drum, I'll call upon you to give those awards. So this time it gives me great, uh, great pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 1999, Miss Christina Gillespie.
here. Good evening. I would like to thank all of you parents, family, friends, faculty, and guests who have come to share this important night with us. I would like to first share with you a part of the autobiography I wrote in English this year. I was having a hard time with the speech, so when Dr. Wilson mentioned that I might use some ideas for my paper, I jumped at the suggestion. These are my reflections on high school. My senior year has been one of mixed emotions. I know I will miss this place when I'm gone, but at the same time, I can't wait to have that diploma in my little hands. Overall, I was so involved with school life the last four years that I had no time for anything else. But I will certainly miss my friends here, and especially my siblings, when I leave in the fall. High school has brought many changes with it. Learning to drive, I passed by only two points, but don't worry, I've improved a lot. Giving blood for the first time, cutting off my hair despite mom's objections, getting rid of braces and glasses, and deciding to attend St. Louis University. My college choice was the first major decision I've been given the chance to make, and it was very difficult. I still wonder if I've made the right choice, but I'm very excited to move on to something different, learn new things, and try out the city for a while. I think I will always come back home, though. At this point, my future plans don't extend past college, and even though I'm going to go to school, I don't know what to study. I am not too concerned about mapping out the rest of my life, though, because it is a mystery to me, to take as I find it. I sometimes get flustered thinking about all the things I have to do now and all the decisions I will have to make in the future. But the future seems a little less scary when I look around and see all of my friends here, where there once were only strangers. I have high hopes that I can keep in touch with the people who have made my high school career and my entire life as memorable as they have been. Perhaps I will never again participate in an all-day Barbie soap opera or play feed store in the barn, cheer in my green and white uniform or direct the band, but I will never forget those times. So much has happened in my life already that I can't remember just how everything occurred. But no matter how I recall them, the memories of my childhood and high school will go with me wherever I go, reminding me of a simpler time that I can stay in touch with and that will comfort me. I am supposed to give a valediction tonight, which is also known as a farewell. Our lives will never be the same after our graduation, but I still don't like to think of it as a farewell. I know that a piece of everyone who has touched my life here will go with me in the future, and I think that my classmates would agree. Sorry, Daryl, I have to use a poem. I recently came across a quote that caught my attention from the poem The Solitary Reaper by William Wordsworth. It reads, I listen, motionless and still, and as I mounted up the hill, the music in my heart I bore long after it was heard no more. I hope that we will all keep the music we made here in our hearts always. I will soon forget how cells reproduce, the specifics of English and French grammar, how to do integrals, and most of everything else that I read in textbooks in the last four years. But I will always remember the lessons I have learned about life, people, and how to learn. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we are presented to you as the class of 1999, the last class of the millennium, on the edge of everything. Our future begins tomorrow, and all doors are open to us. We are once again freshmen, rookies, and amateurs. I have been told repeatedly that high school is the best time of our lives, but I see new challenges and responsibilities to be met to give us a chance at an even better time, and I think that with a little of the dedication we have learned here, we can certainly handle them. My classmates, some of us have been here 13 years, some only a semester, but I would like to congratulate you all on this accomplishment, which is not to be taken lightly. After tonight, we are all alumni of St. Genevieve High School, home of the Dragons, and I hope that you will always be proud of that. I wish you the best. Good luck and God bless. Let's show the world just what we're capable of. This time we'd like to uh, give a few special awards, give some special recognition to some students. The faculty each year polls, uh, we poll the faculty for the outstanding senior boy and senior girl. This is determined solely by a faculty vote. We ask them to consider character, leadership, scholarship, and citizenship. And I'm proud to announce this year's outstanding senior girl is Miss Shanna Herman.
this year's outstanding senior boy, Mr. Darrell Foth. I would ask that the National Honor Society members please rise. <clears throat> These students are wearing the light blue satin pendant and they are members of the Dragon Chapter of the National Honor Society. This organization is the most prestigious of the co-curricular groups at the high school level. Members are selected by a faculty committee and they are students who reflect outstanding accomplishments in the areas of scholarship, character, leadership, and service. All four areas are equally considered and students are selected for membership and they must continually strive to use their talents and skills for the improvement of the National Honor Society. Ladies and gentlemen, the NHS members. Thank you. Also this evening, you will notice several students in the front rows that are wearing the gold honor cords. The honor cord does exemplify scholastic achievement during the past four years of high school. And the unique feature about the honor cord is that all students, regardless of their program of study, are eligible to receive this honor. We have two groups of students wearing the honors cords this evening. We have the honor students and the high honor students. To qualify as an honor student, you must have been on the high honor roll or regular honor roll for a total of at least 12 of the 16 quarters of your high school career. I would ask these students of the honor Cords, please stand, and I ask that you please hold your applause until we complete. Sarah Ralston, Angela Vogt, Rochelle Bullinger, Amy Figgy, Brandy Vitale, Angela Bean, Sarah Palmer, Crystal Bequet, Jill Nagger, Amanda Geck, Tiffany Foth, Kristen Ralston, Tara App, Andrew Grine, Tiffany Swigert, Amanda Hernandez, Jared Kurtz, Nicole Reinhardt, Kevin Rapp, Matthew Kaler, Amanda Deardorff, Katherine Cooper, Courtney Hayes, Stephanie Wolk, Leanne Kern, Amy Sunblad, Stephanie McBee, Sarah McBee, Andrew Finley, Bria Fowler, that's Matt Finley, excuse me, Julie Lucifer, Amanda Troutman, Joseph Geck, Shanna Herman, Nathan Barr, Tyler Klump, Craig Medley, and Ryan Geck. These students are the honor students, class 99. Thank you. The high honor students are those students that have been on the high honor roll for at least 13 of their 16 quarters, and they must be on the honor roll all 16 quarters of their high school career. These students are Darrell Foth, Sarah Grine, Nicole Arnold, Mindy Karen, Trisha Lurk, Claudia Stupe, Christina Galeski, Gina Stoll, Elizabeth Ruther, Amy Huber, Kara Clements, who is still at the track meet, and Ryan Beckett. These are your high honor students. Thank you. Also each year, we'd like to take uh, just a moment and recognize those students who have received local scholarships. We uh, sincerely appreciate the support of the community and support of the local businesses 
to fund the scholarships that these students receive. Uh, they, are, they are certainly appreciative to get the award, and I know it will help them to achieve their goals. So I would right, like to recognize these students and also the business who sponsored the uh, scholarship. Tara Apt, Mercantile Bank, Nicole Arnold, Lions Club of St. Genevieve, Nathan Barr, St. Genevieve Yanks, Dave Stiegel Baseball Memorial Scholarship, Blaine Bowman, St. Genevieve JCs, Ryan Beckett, St. Genevieve High School Local Scholarship, Andy Biat, St. Genevieve National Education Association, Mindy Karen, St. Genevieve Business Club, Kara Clements, St. Genevieve Local Combined Scholarship, Matt Crombie, also St. Genevieve Local Combined Scholarship, Amanda Deerdorf, Farmers Insurance Group Companies, of Robert Wolf, Amanda Deerdorf, also Perry St. Genevieve Medical Society, Mackenzie Decker, Hill and Dale Garden Club, Bria Fowler, Helen Smith Scholarship, Amy Figgy, Don Heil Oil Company with DJ Mini Marts 1 and 2, Christina Galeski, the David L. Miller National Honor Society Scholarship, Amanda Geck, the St. Genevieve County Pork Producers Association, Crystal Geck, Armella Peterson Memorial Scholarship, Ryan Geck, Raymond W. Thomas Memorial Scholarship, Shane Gordon, Swigert Brothers Incorporated, Sarah Grine, St. Genevieve Rotary Club, Jody Harbin, Eric Scott Leathers Memorial Scholarship, Courtney Hayes, Bank of Bloomsdale, Shanna Herman, the Linda Coleman Henson Volleyball Scholarship, Shanna Herman, St. Genevieve Chamber of Commerce, Amy Huber, St. Genevieve High School German Club, Ricky Hudson, Missy Lane Incorporated Scholarship, Christina Joggerst, American Legion, Post 150, Matthew Kaler, the Wine Garden JCs, Leanne Kern, St. Genevieve Band Boosters, Angela Kirstner, the Helen Smith Scholarship, Elena Keene, Stupi Auto Sales and Record Service, in memory of Ed, Minerva, and Tom Stupi. Jennifer Levy, Future Homemakers of America, St. Genevieve High School. Julie Lucifer, Veterans of the Foreign Wars, Post 2210. Trisha Lurk, the Bader Land Survey Scholarship. Also Trisha Lurk, Bank of St. Genevieve Scholarship. Raymond Macklin, St. Genevieve R2 Faculty. Sarah McBee, St. Genevieve Elks Lodge, number 2674 vocational scholarship, also Stephanie McBee, French Club, Craig Medley, Ketting Foodway Incorporated, Carla Nagger, Layton and Insurance, Rochelle Nagger, Herzog Construction Company, Craig Okenfoos, Virginia Grove Scholarship, Daryl Foff, National Junior Honor Society Scholarship, also, Daryl Foth, St. Genevieve Elks Lodge, number 2674. Tiffany Foth, Bloomsdale Elementary PTA. Kristen Ralston, Citizens Electric Corporation. Sarah Ralston, Bloomsdale Welding Company Incorporated. Kevin Rapp, Karen McCursey Scholarship. Megan Ruther, St. Genevieve High School French Club. Nicole Reinhardt. St. Genevieve County Horseshoe League, Melissa Rice, Hill and Dale Garden Club, Scott Schilly, Sylvanus Products Incorporated, Gina Stoll, St. Genevieve County Memorial Hospital Medical Staff Scholarship, Claudia Stupi, Classic Cruisers Car Club, Brandy Vitale, Bartle Farms Incorporated, Nicole Arnold, Mississippi Lime Company, Harry B. Matthews Jr. Scholarship, Amy Huber, MFA Scholarship, 
Kristen Ralston, the Mississippi Lime Company, Harry B. Matthews Jr. Scholarship, Gina Stoll, Shelter Insurance Scholarship, and Claudia Stupe, the Knights of Columbus. These are the local scholarship recipients. of the program that uh, we're all been, we've all been looking forward to, and that is the presentation of the class to receive their diplomas. So at this time, I call upon Mr. Michael A. Stewart, Superintendent, St. Genevieve R2 School District. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my privilege to introduce to you this evening our platform guest for this evening. First, the Board of Education, the members of the St. Genevieve School District. These people serve this community and school district without compensation. They spend countless hours formulating policies, making decisions in the interest of our young people. They have played a major role in the many advances our school district has made in the last few years. I would like to ask them to stand as I introduce them and remain standing until all have been introduced. Please hold your applause until I've introduced all members of the board. First of all, the president, Mrs. Nancy Rudolph, vice president, Ms. Martha Riesinger, secretary, Mr. Jim Kirshner, Dr. James Brandt, Mr. Gary Vaith, Mr. Bob Webb, and absent this evening, Mr. Bob Terry our Board of Education. I also want to introduce our administration to you, Mr. Earl Wilson, our Assistant Superintendent. Also, Mr. Dan Clark, our high school principal, who will be moving on this year to the A-plus coordinator for our district. Go ahead and stand up. <laughs> and Mr. Larry Thompson, our assistant principal, who will move on to the principalship. Gentlemen. <laughs> Graduates, you're about to reach the moment you've been striving for since you began kindergarten 13 years ago. On behalf of the staff and administration of the St. Genevieve School District, allow me to extend to you my most sincere congratulations. You have truly earned the diploma you will receive this evening. Tonight is your night. But don't ever forget those that have helped you get to where you are today. Your teachers, librarians, counselors, coaches, principals deserve a share of your glory. Don't forget our cafeteria staff, teachers, teaching assistants, secretaries, custodians, maintenance staff, our community volunteers, our school nurses and bus drivers, for their part of making this school district a pleasant place in which to learn. Most of all, the happiness and pride of this moment is something to be shared with your parents. They have given you nearly everything you possess, including life itself. Parents of the graduates, would you please stand this evening? Please, parents. Grandparents, would you please stand? Grandparents, let's give them an applause. Okay. Thank you. We'd like to invite our track, track members to come on in and have a seat. You know where you're sitting. Seat, gang. Where's our fourth one? I've got two and then got two. Go ahead. We're going to pause here to make up the couple of awards that we've not presented at this time. 
Also, with the special awards that I uh, gave earlier, I could not uh, give one of those because that student was not here yet, so we're going to backtrack in the program a little bit. Also, the faculty uh, votes on this award, which also considers character, leadership, citizenship, and scholarship. This is the Danforth I Dare You Award. The senior girl that gets the Danforth Award is Eliz Elizabeth Megan Ruther. The senior boy is Kevin Rapp. I now call on Mr. Dennis Drum, Athletic Director, St. Genevieve High School, to give the athletic awards. The Armella Peterson Award and the Mallory Kimmel Award for Most Outstanding Senior Male and Female Athletes are voted on by all the head coaches in the departments. This year's 1999 winner of the Armella Peterson Award for the Female Athlete of the Year is Kara Clements. <laughs> this year's winner of the Mal Kimmel Award for the Male Athlete of the Year, 1998-99, is Scott Shilley. Please stand. <laughs> Mrs. Rudolph and members of the Board of Education, it's my pleasure to declare to you that the young people assembled before you have fulfilled all of the requirements as set forth, forth by the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education and additional requirements as set forth by the St. Genevieve Board of Education and are now eligible to receive their high school diplomas along with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the St. Genevieve High School Senior Class of 1999. Austin. Christine Janine Galeski. Gina Lynn Stoll. Elizabeth Megan Ruther. Michelle Clements, Ryan Michael Beckett, 
Amanda Eileen Deerdorf. Catherine Lucille Cooper. Courtney Elizabeth Hayes. Stephanie Renee Walk. Leanna Elizabeth Kern. Amy Louise Sunblad. Stephanie Ann McBee. Matthew Joseph Finley. Oh my God. Sarah McCatherine McBee. Matthew Joseph Finley. Bria Jo Follert. Julie Malie Marie Lucifer. Amanda Louise Troutman. Joseph Robert Geck. Shanna Marie Herman. Daryl Anthony Foss. Nicole Renee Arnold. Mindy Renee Karen. Trisha Lauren Lurk. Claudia Renee Stoopy. Angela Ann Bo. Rochelle Ruth Bollinger. Brandy Nicole Vitali. <laughs> Angela Christine Bean. Sarah Renee Palmer. Crystal Gail Beckett. Jill Marie Nagger. Amanda Geraldine Geck. <laughs> Tiffany Lynn Foff. <laughs> Kristen Virginia Ralston. Tiffany Ray Schweiger.
Hernandez. Nathaniel Patrick Barr. Jill Marie Staffen. Jenny Marie Cook. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Levy. <laughs> Dara Therese Nanny. <laughs> Nicole Angela Rojas. Elizabeth Brown, <laughs> Jared Matthew Kurtz, <laughs> Nicole Marie Reinhardt. Robert Rapp, Matthew Kyle Kaler, Bernadette Ann Tolley, Hanadi Ramos Delgado. Shanna Christine Sextro Shanna Christine Sextro 
Melissa Ann Rice. Angela Marie Kirshner. Charles Monia. Joseph Wolf, Jeremy Wayne Boyette, Donald Ray Lawrence Jr., Craig Michael Okenfus. Ruben. 
Calvin David Reeves. Aaron Michael Schmelsley. Benjamin Aloysius Bowman. Shelley John Carl Manns Crystal Lynn Gay. Jody Ray Ritter. <laughs> Max Walker Armbruster. Gordon Paul Costin III. Junior Amanda K. Wheatley Matthew William Drury Wayne Robert Kettinger Michelle Lynn Nagger. <laughs> Joseph Michael Williams. John Fall <laughs> Carl Anthony Sampson <laughs> Justin Andrew Stomberg <laughs> Ryan Joseph Brewer
Jackson Jr. Lucas Wayne Rector. Daniel Jacob Albach. Ronald Madison Thunderbird. Raymond Martin Macklin Jr. Williams, Anthony Robert Macklin, Matthew Thomas Garber, Nathan Thomas Odin. Shelley John Curtis Lomondier Joseph Darush Jr. Travis Wayne Rayum. Christopher Michael Gilman. Junior <laughs> Michael Frank Walker Junior <laughs> Okay also Lori Beth Doha who is not able to be with us this evening due to an illness. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please remain seated until the graduates have exited the gym, please. We'll have a few minutes with families and friends for pictures and hugs and tears, etc. Then if some of us will board a bus to head to Project Graduation. We'll be returning this eve or tomorrow morning about 6 a.m. So please remain seated until the uh, class is exited. I now call upon the class president to come forward and do the traditional change of the tassel.